Around 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water, and the oceans hold around 95% of the Earth's water. Oil spills, plastic and pollution are causing serious damage to the ecosystem and making sea levels rise. In this scatter plot, which is titled What's Causing Seas to Rise, discusses the issue of pollution becoming the dominant cause of sea levels rising in the late 20th century. The vertical axis is labelled in inches increasing by 0.4. The horizontal axis is in years extending from 1965 to 2004. The blue line is representing the human effect, in contrast with the orange line representing the natural effect of sea levels rising. The blue line increases dramatically on a positive slope with a strong relationship, compared to the orange line is slowly increasing in a positive direction with a weak relationship. In 2050, it is predicted that both human and natural causes will increase to around 4 inches. In this scatter plot, which is titled U.S. Plastic Generation and Recovery, graphically shows the generation of plastic in blue compared to the recovery in orange. The vertical axis is in million tons. The horizontal axis is in years increasing by tens, extending from 1960 till 2012. The orange line seems to be hitting its highest point in 2010. In contrast, with the blue line is slowly increasing by years and have a strong relationship. The correlation of this graph is positive with a strong relationship. In 2050, it is predicted that both the generation and recovery of plastic will increase and pollute our world for many, many years to come. In this scatter plot, which is titled Number of Oil Spills from Tankers Worldwide, clearly show the number of large oil spills in the ocean on a worldwide scale. The vertical axis is labelled number of oil spills and is increasing by 10. The horizontal axis is in years and increasing by two years, extending from 2000 to 2016. The correlation of this graph is negative with a moderate to weak relationship. In 2050, it is predicted that the number of spills will decrease, which is a positive thing. In this scatter plot, which is titled Number of Unprovoked Shark Attacks, it shows the number of worldwide unprovoked shark attacks. The vertical axis represents the number of shark attacks increasing from 0 to 700. The horizontal axis represents the decades of the incidents from the 1900s to the 2000s. The correlation is positive with a moderate to strong relationship. By 2050, this is most likely to increase. In this scatter plot, which is titled Rate of Shark Fatality, it shows us the rate that sharks are dying worldwide. The vertical axis is the rate of shark fatality and it extends from 0 to 0 0.7. The horizontal axis is in decades and shows us the rate in death from years 1900 to 2000s. The death of sharks is decreasing, making it a negative correlation. The correlation has a moderate relationship. It is predicted in 2050 that shark fatalities will decline. In the scatter dot plot, it shows graphically the increase of birds eating plastic. From the beginning of 1960, only 22% of the bird species was affected by plastic. But over the years, from 2010, has gone to 78%. When it reaches 2050, the bird species will hit 100% of death. The correlation is positive, and the correlation is a modern relationship. In this scatter dot plot, it shows two graphs, the orange indicating the use of plastic per year and the blue of industrial plastic per year, and the rate of increase in how it started from 1985 and ended in 2010. The orange is a positive correlation with a strong relationship, and the blue with a negative correlation with a strong relationship.